What's up everybody? So today I want to show y'all how I make pretty much my favorite coffee. A lot of people go to the coffee shops and do all this stuff and whatnot. And you know what? Look, I know I can make a better cup of coffee than they can. And you know what? I don't have to wait in line. This one has some spices in it too. So it's kind of one of those flavored things. Y'all check it out. All right, so I always measure with weight in grams at the, for this case. So we're gonna get right where we need to be. And as you can see, right here is where if he goes over, you can easily take some out. So got my 20 grams. Now, I prefer using whole allspice, but my place didn't have it. So yeah, we're just gonna have to use the powder this time. Still, same weight, but that's where it becomes beneficial. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh looks like it's crapped out. Gonna have to do this one old school by hand. And look, you can do it. It's 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 not that hard. I'm gonna add in our salt. Boom. Mix it all together. And I keep mine in this little storage container. We have this little cubby where we keep all of our coffee stuff, and I put that in there. All right, so I'm using my Capresso. This one is fantastic because it's got multiple settings for different types of tea. Right temperature, you're gonna get your best flavor. A couple of different measures, and you gotta be careful because they're different ones. This was not the right one for this. I use this one. I do five little scoops in this container and one eighth teaspoon yeah that one i don't do by weight perfect temperature pour it in and boom four minutes and so now that y'all know my super secret formula oh yeah the sugar that's just some leftover vanilla beans in raw sugar that's what i use uh love my freeling french press absolutely wonderful tea kettle get one of those gets the water to the perfect temperature now I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee. Y'all have a wonderful day and pumpkin spice sucks.